Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas gallery wrapped and I'm going to do what's called the cupping and covering technique. And what I do is I put down a, a thin layer of base coat, then I fill a cup like a dirty cup and I pour it on and then um, I have one other color that I put on the top and then I spread it all around. I use cups and I may do some balloon rolls. And I got my inspiration from this from Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry and also Heather Mater of Heather Mater Art. So let's go over my colors. My base coat today is um, Blick Relic, the, um, let's see here, Titanium White. My next color is Pebio. It's called Dinah, but it's really um, iridescent blue-green. My next color is Amsterdam Permanent Blue-Violet. My next color is Artist Loft Phalo Blue. My next color is Blick, and this is the light blue violet. My next color is the Folk Art Color Shift Pink Flash. My next color is Modern Masters Green Apple. And then my, my covering color is a combination of the um, Blick Titanium White and then just a little bit of this Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue from Liquitex. So it makes a very, very light yellow color. Let me show you consistency. Well, first of all, my pouring medium today is a little bit different. It's 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge. And what I did is I purchased the Mod Podge in the Pearl just to give all my colors a nice shiny effect to them. And then 10% GAC, that's the pouring medium. And then what I did is I added one ounce of pouring medium to a half ounce of paint. A few of them I did have to thin a little bit just to get them all the same consistency. And let me show you consistency here. A little bit on the thicker side. And that is why I'm making my base coat a thin layer because I'll have that layer, then the layer of the paint, and then another layer on top of that, and then tip it off. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera, lay down my base coat, um, fill my cup, then I'll bring you back and we'll get started on painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I've got my light uh, coat of my base coat down. It's the Blick uh, White, and I filled my cup pretty full, as you can see, and I did try and mix the paint pretty well, and I'm just going to dump it on like a dirty pour. And I am going to turn it. Just to make sure I'm dispersing these colors pretty evenly over the painting. Okay. And now I'm going to take the top, my top color, which was the yellow, and I'm just going to put it all over the top of the other paint. And this is the covering color.
You can let some of the color underneath peek through. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to give it a quick torch. Okay, and now I'm just going to be tipping it all over on my canvas. We'll take it over that corner and bring it back. And over this corner and bring it back. And over this corner. And bring it back and my last corner okay I'm just gonna check my sides here see if I need to um, cover anything with my fingers check the edges and the corners here. They look pretty good. Okay. And now this is where the cupping part comes in. What I'm going to do is start with my, my cup that I used and you just Put it down and you can just use the rim, put the whole thing down. You can see the different the effects that you get from this. You're just bringing up the colors from underneath. You can use different size cups too. I have a smaller one here. Give that a try. The paint is thick enough that if you do get down to the canvas, it will cover back in. You slide the cup a little bit you can see I'm making a little bit thicker marks there and I'm going to clean the cup off here once in a while you can clean your cup off Okay, I think that's pretty good. Maybe just one more here. Okay, I like that. And now what you can do, <coughs> excuse me, is you can do some 
balloon kisses or balloon rolls. What I have here is my little water balloon. And I'll just see if I can do some balloon kisses here and how they turn out. And I am cleaning this balloon off after every time I, I dip it. And if the paint comes back in again, fills back in, you can just keep dipping the same area. Very fun to do these little balloon kisses. You can see up here where I'm starting to bring some of the other colors through from the bottom. Okay, and now I'll do a balloon roll for you. I'm not the best at these. One who's really good is Heather Mater. And I think it's all in the way that you twist you, your wrist when you're doing these. <laughs> That's a pretty good one there. It's pretty good there too. Okay, I like those. I may do a few more of these little balloon kisses in here. If you ever do get a chance, go to a Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry. Hers are very beautiful. I'll just take my finger and try and make like a stem off of the flower. And what you can also do is if you want to bring up a certain color, you can see that I've added a little bit of the purple paint that I had left over here. Let's see if I can find a spot where it will stick. And see, you, you can use the color to uh, bring up a certain color in an area that you're looking for there. And just work with it you know see if I can put some I'll put some dark blue in an area and see if I can bring up some dark blue here okay all right so I think off camera I will work with this a little more, but this is the gist of this type of painting, the covering and cupping technique. I think this turned out very, very pretty. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up.
Okay, everybody, we're coming down for our close-up now. Off camera, I did do some more balloon uh, kisses and some more balloon swipes. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And I will bring you down the left-hand side. Very, very pretty colors here. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And this is called the cupping and covering technique. You can see where I've added a bunch of the flowers here. That's up the middle and I'll take you over to the right hand corner now. Very pretty in here. A lot of very pretty areas in this painting. The lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. That would really help my channel out. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.